going on adventurers we are currently at a cemetery i'm not going to say which one although you may recognize it because we were actually here the other night during our live stream now we wanted to come back because we were actually being stalked in here and we really didn't give you guys enough time to check out the place so we came back we were getting some amazing evps and i don't know what it is guys but every single time lately we have been in a cemetery we've heard what lise gunshots we're um, hearing gunshots as soon as we got I out of the car right towards well i don't know they're within hearing distance i don't know what that i is. mean granted we are in the country okay but every single time that we get out of the car in a cemetery we hear gunshots i don't oh, know what, what it, it is but we're gonna show you guys around. There is a really awesome thing behind us. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys right now. It's pretty cool. It looks like a wishing well, and it looks like it was made in memory of someone's husband named Raymond, so that's really cool. Um, we're gonna go ahead and show you around, guys. It's really cool here. Then we're gonna bust out the Necrophonic as always, so let's do it. Let's go. Okay, guys, so this is the well we were just telling you about. How cool is this? I've never seen anything like this in a cemetery before. Let's see what's in it. Oh like a wishing well with money in it that's cool how nice is it that someone decided to do that in memory of their husband that's pretty cool and here's the sign right here in memory of my beloved Raymond B. Gleave forever love Judy that's so sweet all right guys so I thought I would just take you around a little bit and show you the area show you some of the different headstones I always think those are pretty interesting. Some really beautiful ones. Oh wow, this person's last name was Pandora. That's cool. Look at that. Of course it reminds me of Avatar Land at Disney World. I'll just walk around in here. cool landscape like I just love Florida for this reason this is a problem though those ant hills man I'm telling you what you don't want to get fire ant bit it is horrible I already I'm getting bit by something I think it's mosquitoes but there are fire ants all over down here so look how cool this is they have these little uh, benches over here by the tree it's pretty awesome but it's always nice to give you guys a lay of the land just to kind of let you see what I'm seeing as I'm walking around exploring I enjoy that part of it just as much probably as I do the actual investigation kind of just get yourself familiarized with the area and see if you catch a vibe most of the time we will We'll kind of get a feeling where we should go ahead and set up shop. Although, that's not to say that regardless of where we set up shop, we'll have the same people coming through. It's just sometimes you feel like a place is more welcoming than another. So, All right, I'm going to cut back through here. Wow, these ones are these ones are like in the bushes. That's wild. Look at this. What? This is crazy. Check this out. There are there are um, people back in these bushes. Look at that. I'm really intrigued by that, huh? If y'all were ever wondering what it means when somebody says the term old Florida, that's it right there. That's what it looks like with the, the giant oak trees and the Spanish moss drooping down, almost creating like a natural tunnel. That's it. That's what I picture when I hear the term old Florida. That and swamps with alligators.
That's pretty cool. I'm noticing too that there's a lot of uh, stumps. So I'm guessing the trees probably got too big and started to overtake an area and they had to chop them down. It's kind of sad though. Quite a few of those out here. Making my way back to Lisa. She's over here. She got herself her chair and she is camped out waiting for us to do a necrophonic session. All right, guys, Lisa's got herself situated over here in her comfy chair. Busted out the K2 meter. We're going to see if anything happens. I'll go ahead and hold on to that if you want. Okay. Or we could put it somewhere. And I'll let keep everybody know if something's going on okay. here. We are situated right here in front of the wishing well. We thought that'd be a cool place to um, set up camp for our EVP session. All right, guys. Here we go. <laughs> Here, let me hold on to the speaker. Spirits, we want to communicate with you today. Yes, sit. <laughs> Do you know who we are? <laughs> Do you know our names? <laughs> I'm Jen and this is Lisa. What are your names? Hi there. How many of you are with us today? How many spirits are here with us? Can you say your name for us? It was really still here and then the wind started blowing when we started the spirit box session. Was that you? Hi, Lay. It sounds like angels. Keep hearing that singing, like that long distance singing. Oh, oh, oh. Sound like they said filming. Filming. Yes, we are. We're filming for our YouTube channel. We have a lot of people that are interested in talking to you. Are there any message? Are there any messages that you'd like to give us? Is Raymond here? I think I heard yes. How do you like the well that your wife dedicated to you? Love. I think he said love. Yeah. It's beautiful. Is this a safe cemetery? Ask about the other night. Do you remember when we were here a few nights ago? <laughs> Spirits. Was was there a truck stalking us? It looked like a, it looked like a pickup truck. It felt like we were, were getting blocked in. It said road. 
Was it somebody that was watching our live stream that was coming here to stalk us? Can you give us a name? Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna move to another uh, area. Thank you. We, we may come back with you guys. Thank you. I just wanted to show you guys this. I thought this was so cool. Looks like a the tree of life. And I just thought that was pretty awesome. This is a huge cemetery. Very beautiful. Do you know what this reminds me of? Just this area? It reminds me of what it feels like in a campground. Yeah, it really does. I've never felt like that in a cemetery though. I don't know what it is. I'm not sure what it is. I don't know. I know you're right though. I think it's because there's so many trees in here. Yeah. You know, it right. just feels like nature. Yeah, maybe. Look at that. Lisa just noticed, guys, there's a see? headstone over there with the name Parrot on it, which is interesting. Because when we did our ghost cat live stream the other night, we were asking about our parrot. And there's a headstone that says parrot, which is so bizarre. And it's, just, and it's facing us. Like all these other I didn't even see it earlier. The other headstones are facing the other direction. That's weird. Like it's speaking to us. And I hear a cardinal right now. Yeah, I, I hear a cardinal. For those of you that know, cardinals have a very distinct chirp. It's a real high pitch, like clicking sound. Mm -hmm. Yeah, somewhere up there. It's funny how often you hear cardinals in a cemetery. It makes a yes, lot of sense. It does make sense. This is a little, um, nice little special area with flowers and it's marked off with, looks like railroad ties. It's almost like a garden. Yeah, like a garden, like a special, maybe it's a special family. And they put a little, I love the little palm trees down here. You can get planted and they're just right in the center. Somebody really visits there too. There's a lot of flowers. A little flag, it says, um, Happy hour. <laughs> That's a little oh, martini glass. A little. Oh, what's that like? Um, what's that spinner of the shape of? Is that a turtle? Or I don't know. It's cute. Can't tell. <laughs> I always think it's interesting too. These the little flower spinners. Like sometimes they're just still, and then other times they're really going crazy when you come visit. It doesn't seem like there's much in between. And there's nothing else really blow. Like there's a spinner to its left, which isn't blowing. And that one on that particular grave, right in front of me, it's like a yellow if you can see it past that cross. So I, I don't know. I always think that's maybe a little bit of a spiritual thing that they're trying to get your attention. See, now it's slowing down. It's interesting. It sounds like a hawk or an eagle. Here. I'm hearing something over here, guys. It sounds like a hawker. Oh. There he is. See him? No, I hear him. It's so crazy. beautiful out here. Like, you really do. You feel like you could pitch a tent and be completely comfortable. And the birds singing. It, just, it sounds like you're out of nature. Mm-hmm. This is such a beautiful piece of land. It's in a very old part of town. So that's why you have these old oaks in here. And I think that's part of what makes it feels like a campground. Look at this beautiful angel. That's a beautiful angel. She's like fucking. Okay. That's beautiful. Oh, that's, uh, that's nice. I love that. I just love seeing all the different unique ones, you know. There's so many that you, you know, just very special ones.
Look at that beautiful tree straight ahead there. Isn't that cool? Oh, that is pretty. What kind of tree is, is that? I think so. Huh. I don't know what that is. If any of you guys know what that is, put it, please put it in the comments. I'm curious what that is. It's really cool looking though. The sky is absolutely gorgeous today. It's that Florida sky. Blue for miles. Then you got the little white. Um, it almost looks like somebody just painted in the little white clouds. The cicadas are singing. So guys, I'm going to walk over here just to check it out. I've curiosity's got my uh, interest. To see what's up. It may just be normal dirt, but it just it looks a little strange. There's two of them like that. Uh, yeah, actually, I guess it's just the leveling. Oh, they put like pine shots around here too. And this one's like that as well. So I'll just check it. This is interesting. It actually has like little handles on this uh, slab area. You can see that. These are pretty new, so I'm not going to show any of the names. 2000, like later 2000s. That's some very interesting um, cemeteries decorations. That's cool. They have a, a truck on that one. Just very, a lot of attention to detail. It's very nice pictures, pictures of what they liked. Hobbies, cars, trucks. It's very nice. And over here, look at all these blinking, shiny stars. I've never seen that before. It's almost like Christmas time. Lots of flowers. There's some angels, sparkly things. Very cool. All right, guys, so Lisa just brought to my attention this, I don't even know if they're called spinners. Are they just called spinners? That's what I call them. Garden spinners. Yeah. This one is going crazy. And I mean, there's a little bit of a slight wind blowing, but I wouldn't think that it would be doing that. It seems like it's pretty young. And now it's stopping weird. Mm -hmm. And if you'll notice, oh, and now it's starting. See, that's interesting. Let's zoom in on it. Wow, that's the fastest I've seen it spinning. Mm-hmm. That's why I was thinking maybe an uh, EVP like that, and then there's an area here I noticed with the stars uh, decor that's just okay. almost, it did the same thing. It stopped and started, and over here it's quiet on the left. So my name is Jen, and this is Lisa. We're paranormal investigators, and we're trying to show people that you are still here. So if that's you doing that, can you please just stop for a second to let wow what yeah Reverse. thank you so much that was really nice of you to do that i didn't want you to think we were just trying to tell you what to do we we're just trying to show people that you are still here do you want to talk to us through our spirit box we can go ahead and turn it on so you can communicate oh okay that's a yes. All right, we're going to go ahead and do that then. All right, guys, so we have our necrophonic ready to go. We're going to go ahead and turn that on and see what happens. <coughs> Is there anything you'd like to say to us? Did you make the spinner stop spinning? Spinner. spinner. Oh, it said spinner. What? What's your name? <laughs> Can you say your name again? Oh. 
My friend something. Does it make you happy when people bring things like these garden spinners for you to play with? Yes. Mm -hmm. Are you spinning it? Do you make it spin to let people know you're here? We do. I know, it's a thing. That's pretty awesome. Thank you for showing us that today. Thank you so much for talking to us. We are going to go ahead and move up to another area. You're welcome to come up with us and follow us through the cemetery to talk to us. But you're not allowed to follow us home. Do you believe? All right, guys. So this is another area Lisa just showed you guys a few minutes ago. Um, she was pretty intrigued by these stars. It's kind of the same idea. We th we're thinking that, you know, they can manipulate the stars and they can move them to let us know that they're here. And it's really sad because it looks like there's a young child or a baby there on the end and there's like a little children's toy. So we're so sad about that. But, um, if you're here with us, can you move those stars for us? Oh, there we go. Look at that. All right, we're going to go ahead and turn on the necrophonic and see if they want to say anything to us. <coughs> Hi. <coughs> I'm Jen and this is Lisa. <coughs> Did you move those stars when I asked you to? To let us know you're here? Just like Wow. Quite a few people coming through here. It's stars and bells. Can you possibly move those stars again for us pretty harshly so we can see them move? We're paranormal investigators and we want to show people that you're still here. I'm here. Can you move those stars for us again? Wow, there you go. That's pretty awesome. Awesome. Did you like... Did you love Christmas? <laughs> the wind just started blowing really hard. Are you guys doing that? Are you making the wind blow? Sometimes. <laughs> it's in sometimes. Recording. Oh, I heard that. Yes, we are recording. We have a YouTube channel so people can learn about the paranormal in the spirit world. We're still learning too. Wow, look at these moving. The stars are moving and then the little bells behind there are moving too. Are you doing that? Well, thank you so much for talking with us. We're going to keep going around the cemetery. We're going to continue around the cemetery now. We're going to see what else we might see that looks interesting. And try to communicate in a couple other areas. Make it, you know, just keep it moving a little bit for you guys today. Trying something a little different. Usually we kind of stay in one spot. But we thought it would be fun to kind of move around the cemetery a little bit today and show you around. And when we feel the urge to turn on the necrophonic. So let's keep going, guys. All right, guys. So we are in front of a mausoleum here. Patty said she's gotten a lot of activity in this area at this particular cemetery. So there's a bee. 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 Oh! Ow! That's not going. Okay, put the window up quick. Get in, get in, get in. I can't. All right, maybe, maybe we shouldn't. Oh! Where is it? I think he got it 
Is there any spirits here attached to the mausoleum? Wait a minute, let me start again. Can you say your name? I heard Carol. Are you happy here? We've heard there's some spirits, uh, especially at night, uh, that have been detected here. Are you any of those? Do you like visitors? Do you like visitors? It said ask. Is there something you were going to ask that you didn't? Um, do you like being in the mausoleum? Are there other spirits visiting here that other than the mausoleum? Three. Three. What is your name? Can you say your name? Looking. Hmm. Are you looking at us? Can you, can you see me waving? Be interesting, wouldn't it? <laughs> Where are you? Are you near the mausoleum? <laughs> are you looking out the window? I feel like there's somebody looking out the window at me. Well, we won't disturb you any longer. We just wanted to come and say hello and see if you would talk to us. We appreciate you doing that. Do you prefer visitors during the day or at night? Day. Night. I guess both. Depends, doesn't it? I guess, and that sounds like two different people. It did. I guess they still have people who are early birds and night owls. Yeah, about that. That's, That's funny. Like, just like huh. Oh, thank you, guys. So, here's the West and we'll come visit you again. Thank you so much for talking with us. All right, guys, so you know that I am really intrigued by these woodsmen of the world monuments i think they are so cool this is probably one of the least exciting that i've seen but you know nonetheless it's still pretty cool wow the wind just picked up it, like and it just dropped i think the temperature just dropped five or ten degrees did you feel that yes instantly so i wanted to show you this because this is the most intriguing monument in the entire cemetery and i know we showed you guys this when we were here the other day I just wanted to show you again because uh, it was late at night. It was getting dark. But man, look at this thing. Creep stir. Looks like a little boy, but. It does say son of, and then it has the name. So it's just creepy. Fun. I don't know how old he was. Um, that's really creepy. I mean, yeah. do you think that's what he looked like? He wasn't that old, actually. Maybe, yeah, he looks like he wasn't even. Maybe like nine? That's sad. Nine. It's sad. Aww. Like, you can see the sadness in his face. But look at the detail with his clothing. I know. And his hair. Mm-hmm. And he looks a little like... Well, I don't know. He's not smiling. What would you call that? Sad. Sad. And there goes a butterfly. Look how cool. Oh. That's weird. Nice that they have maybe he wants to talk to us. Yeah, let's see if maybe he wants to talk to us. All right, guys, Lisa's going to turn the necrophonic back on just for a couple minutes and see if this little boy would like to talk to us because his expression on this stone has always 
intrigue me. It just looks so sad. Almost a little bit angry. I just heard, I just heard something. I, say, oh, this, I was diverting my attention to the left. That was weird. Okay. okay. Ready? <laughs> William, are you here with us? We're friendly. My name is Jen and this is Lisa. We just want to talk to you. Can you say your name for us? I think I heard William. Is there anything you'd like to tell us? Hello. Are you making it really windy here now and colder? Do you want us to come back and visit you another time? Are you with your parents? I think I heard sick. What made you sick? Sorry to hear that. Would you like us to come back and visit you another time? No. How old were you when you died? I'm guessing around 9 or 10 by the grief. I was just trying to confirm. Looks like nine years old according to his grave. Were you nine when you passed? Nine. All right, well, thank you so much for talking to us. We appreciate it. Anything else you, the spirits want to say? We're, we're going to leave this area now. Thank you. All right, guys, so we hope you enjoyed this tour of this particular cemetery and the investigation that we did. I feel like we got a lot, you know, the spinner and the little stars that were moving around. Plenty of EVPs coming through on the Necrophonic. And it was I think it was a good day. It was a beautiful day too. It was an absolute beautiful it was day. It's extremely hot. So we love you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Drop us a comment. Let us know how you like the video. And don't forget. We now have memberships available and we appreciate all of our new members that joined. Thank you guys so much. And guys, don't forget to check the links below. Uh, we have some great Amazon links of things that you all have been interested in, LED dousing rods, GoPros, um, some of the equipment we use that you've been interested in asking about. So we decided we'll put them there so you can take a look. So don't forget to check the links below and check out the products that you've been interested in. And we'll see you on our next Raptor Adventure. Raptor Adventure.